Hey, this is Kyle at Pure Storage, and in this video, we're going to show you how to use NSXT and a content library uh, within Azure VMware solution and get it set up to be used with Cloud Block Store. Um, so prerequisites for this video, we assume that you've got AVS stood up. Um, and what we're going to go ahead and do here first is we're going to go to our virtual network, and we're going to just add an additional dash 24 network to it that we're going to use uh, for NSXT. Um, this step is unnecessary if you define a very large address space for your VNet, but I'm just showing you how to do it here real quick. Um, so now we've got that new address space defined. We'll go ahead and add it as an additional subnet to our VNet. We'll just call it NSX. All right, so now with this piece of it done, we'll hop over here. Um, here's VMware NSXT that's been deployed as part of Azure VMware solution. Uh, we have these three default network segments part, that are part of NSXT. Um, unfortunately, we can't use any of them for virtual machine traffic, which is why we're going to create this new one. Uh, we'll call it NSX-AVS. We will attach it to our tier one gateway, and then we'll also use our overlay transport zone that's set up by default when AVS is deployed. Um, we'll go ahead and add the subnet that we just defined um, within the Azure resource panel. So there's Here's our slash 24 network. Obviously you can use something else bigger if you so choose or smaller. Uh, we'll go ahead and paste this in and we'll change the dot zero to a dot one for our gateway. And then we'll go ahead and save this network segment. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to do in terms of setting it up within an SXT. Uh, we'll give it a couple seconds to propagate over to vSphere. Um, and then we'll go ahead and log into our AVS instance of vSphere. All right, and now that we're in, um, when we go over and look at our uh, our switch, we can see that we've got the NSX-AVS segment defined there that we can now use. Um, but before we can deploy a virtual machine, we'll next uh, create a content library that we can upload an ISO to to deploy a Windows virtual machine from. I'll give it a name. We'll just say it's local. Um, attach local storage on this AVS instance. That will create our content library. Um, on this jump post, I've already downloaded a Windows Server 2019 ISO um, that I'll go ahead and upload here. You can also, of course, uh, point to a specific URL instead if, if you so choose. So in the content library, we'll give it a name and then we'll go ahead and import it. So now it's uploading. We'll go ahead and skip ahead here um, to allow that ISO to upload. And now we'll actually go in and create a new virtual machine. So this is all pretty standard for anyone who's used uh, VMware vSphere in the past. Uh, we'll give this virtual machine a name, select some local storage. Um, this is ESXi 6.7, so we'll use that version because it's the latest. Um, this is server 2019, so we'll select server 2016 and above. Um, we're going to use VMware Paravirtual. Um, here we can see that that AVS dash, or NSX dash AVS network that we created is available. We'll use VM VMX Net3 with that. Um, and then last but not least, we can see that our content library file that we uploaded is indeed available. So we'll connect that as a CD drive. Um, and go ahead and click Finish. That will create the VM, and then you can image it as, nor as you normally would. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, stay tuned and we'll show you how to use in-guest iSCSI in the next video. Thank you.